To truly appreciate what Paul George did last night, you have to go back in time a little. Back before COVID and the bubble, back before the whole street lights over spotlights thing, before the party in Oklahoma City with Russell Westbrook and Nas, and yeah, before Thunder beat writer asked if he'd be willing to take on tough defensive matchups in the playoffs, a question that PG answered with the quote, y'all haven't met playoff P yet, have you? Before all of that, Paul George was a 23-year-old in Indiana who had just won the NBA's Most Improved Player Award, had made his first All-Star game, and had led his team to what would be the first of two consecutive Eastern Conference Finals. This was back in 2013, and PG was doing things like, well, this. Take a listen. Here comes George, got the step and scores. What a move! It counts on the foul! Sensational move. We are seeing a superstar in the making here with Paul George. A superstar in the making. That series was against a Miami team at the height of its powers. Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and yes, LeBron, who had just won his fourth MVP award and who PG spent most of the series checking. And that Eastern Conference Finals went seven games. Frankly, the Heat were fortunate to get out of it alive. And Paul George walked away with a whole new understanding of what he could be in the NBA. So fast forward to nearly a decade later. Last night, PG was wearing his white Clippers jersey as he walked onto the floor in Utah. But if when you squinted, you saw a tinge of Pacer yellow, nobody could blame you. Paul was aggressive from the start, although so were the Jazz, who clearly smelled blood after learning that Kawhi Leonard's injured knee could keep him out the rest of this series. Utah hit 17 threes in the first half alone. 17 threes in the first half. But the Clippers never seemed rattled. And in the second half, it was PG who started tightening the screws, just as Donovan Mitchell seemed to run out of gas on the other side. Mitchell has been fighting an ankle injury throughout this series. And the more he played last night, the more you could see him struggle to push off or get to the paint or get much lift on his shot. Meanwhile, L.A. was getting contributions from all over. Marcus Morris was big in the third quarter. He would finish with a playoff career high, 25 points. Reggie Jackson had a great fourth quarter doing stuff like that. Just woo. And Terrence Mann climbing the stifled tower with a dunk that seemed to rattle the rafters. And through it all, Paul George was there, scoring basket after basket after basket until he'd finished with 37 points on 12 of 22 shooting, 16 rebounds, five assists, and two blocks. Afterward, Ty Lu described the way George had put the team Just on his morning, back. You know, before she around, I said, T, I got us. And um, he said the same thing after the game. He said, man, just thank you for trusting and believing in me, you know, all season long. And I said, man, come on. You serious? Like, he's been phenomenal. I don't know if phenomenal P has the same ring as <laughs> playoff P, but the win did put the Clippers in control of the series. They can close it out tomorrow night in L.A. And just as importantly, it helped PG, who has now topped 30 points in three consecutive games, take another step clear of the controversy of the past few years, even as fans and, yes, other players have tried to keep him there. Remember when Devin Booker was trash-talking Paul earlier this season? That memory is a little more spicy now that PG and Book are just a game away from facing each other in the Western Conference Finals. Although if the Clippers do get there, and it's still an if, I'm guessing we won't hear as much sniping at George this time. Sometimes to go forward, you have to take a page from your past. And that is exactly what Paul George did in Utah last night. He wasn't just playoff P, he was Pacers P. And that turned out to be exactly what LA needed. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.